The Russian Wagner has now arrived in jail, waiting for Nigeria to take their first shot. Of course, for some of you that don't know the Russian Wagner, they are another kind of private forces in Russia, and they have won a lot of war by assisting Russia, the state of Russia. Now they have arrived in jail. But in the other news, the ECOWAS parliament tackles heads of state reject military interventions. The, the Econo Economic Committee of West African States are now saying that they don't want any military intervention against the state of Niger. The Economic Committee of West African State ECOWAS parliament has cautioned against the use of military power towards tackling the military coup in Niger Republic, stressing the need for diplomatic options to address the situations. Members of the Economic Parliament made the call during a virtual extraordinary plenary session held Saturday. Speaking of the ECOWAS Parliament, Sidi Mohamed Tunis presided over the session, which had most lawmakers appealing to ECOWAS leaders to adopt dialogue to mitigate the situation rather than military intervention. Speaking first, the Deputy Speaker of the Parliament, Hon Idris Wase, opposed the use of military might in resolving the coup dilemma in the Nigerian Republic. He also accused the sub regional military chiefs of pursuing economic motives for their alleged eagerness for the military to intervene in Niger. According to Wase, we should be careful not to start what we can't finish. When the Russia Ukraine war started, people thought it was going to be a sharp war. A year after the war is still lingering on with the attendant economic squander and wanton destruction of lives and properties. The sub regional military chiefs know that they stand to benefit economically. That's why they are eager to militarily intervene in Niger. Most of them are corrupt. Any war on Niger will have adverse effect on 60% of Nigeria, especially northern Nigeria, he said. Another Nigerian lawmaker and member of the ECOWAS parliament, Senator Ali Ndume, faulted President Bola Ahmed Tinimbo of Nigeria and ECOWAS chairman for unilaterally closing the Nigerian Niger border and cutting electricity without the approval of the Nigerian National Assembly. Ndume stated, We are the representatives of the people. Whatever actions that must be taken should be dependent on what our people want. The ECOWAS chairman, President Tinimbu, wrote to the Nigerian Senate on the planned military intervention in Niger and the Red Chamber vehemently opposed the use of force. They prefer instead dialogue should be adopted in resolving the impasse. You see, Tinimbu must understand that one of the biggest errors he should be committing is invading uh, Niger. I've said it several times and I've said it several times again because they may think that <laughs> firing one bullet will just end there. Once it comes to war, the moment you fire one bullet on another sovereignty, just know you've declared war and anything can happen to make sure that that war, <clears throat> even though you are the boss, your people will lose their life. It's either your military is either your citizens or in one way or the other this must happen and it won't end easily because what will eventually happen is that the us and france will use nigeria while the russia and china will use niger that's just what is going to happen and the war will continue to linger before you know it to start coming into nigeria and that warning that they want since will become something effective Similarly, another ECOWAS parliamentarian, Hadija Satu Kamra, agreed with the submission of Ndume. Kamra stated that citizens must be considered before any other political sentiment. She said, the current economic depensation in West Africa does not favor war as the best solution. So as the military junta in the Republic of Niger. On her part, Honlinda Ibazu, urged ECOWAS to appraise the past diplomatic means adopted in Guinea, Mali, and Burkina Faso. She affirmed that if the copies in Niger are allowed to have their ways, it will amount to tactical signal for the military of other countries to plot coups going forward. 
How effective was the diplomatic approach ECOWAS adopted in Guinea, Conakry, Mali, and Burkina Faso? The decision that ECOWAS should take in resolving the Niger political improglio will depend how effective the diplomacy adopted in the countries already under military government was. If that is not done, it means we are tactically giving approval for coups, knowing that this sub-regional body ECOWAS cannot do anything punitive. Also contributing the fourth deputy speaker, Hon Saola Jebo from the Niger Republic, agreed with some of the resolutions of the heads of state of ECOWAS. He, however, insisted on the use of dialogue in resolving the impasse, saying the sanction imposed on Niger is already taking its toll on ordinary Nigerians. He explained that war will only inflict more pains on ordinary people or will only compound the economic woes. The people of sub-region are already going through, as we speak, over a thousand trucks loaded with goods are stranded at the border. The lawmaker grad, if a coup happened in Nigeria or Côte d'Ivoire tomorrow, where is the ECOWAS going to mobilize troops from to fight the Nigerian or Ivory military? How many borders are we going to close? Very simple question. So, ECOWAS is now Fourteen Bola Metinimbo for closing the Niger border and not doing acting as the president of the ECOWAS. You see, at the end of the day, once you are illegitimate, people will tell you that you are they will tell it to your face. You can deceive the common Nigerians and the you know common citizens, but one of the truth is that they are gonna fault it. They will tell it to your face. How do an illegitimate president come to in a jail to, you know, begin a fight with people who are complaining that their country is going astray? With people who are complaining that things are going wrong in their country. You are illegitimate, you want to go and stop a legitimate person. It doesn't work like that. Closing their border is a bigger mistake because <laughs> One thing you don't understand about Africa, Africa may look as if we are not united, but don't forget, Africans are one people that don't forget scars. They don't. Wars that have happened in the past, there are people who have refused to let go. So many countries, they have refused to let go and they have refused to forgive. This is what the problem Nigeria is having. This is one problem Nigeria is still having today. That is why it is difficult for Nigeria to grow. Because there was a time it was recorded they fought a civil war against themselves. War is never a good thing. That is why Obasanjo will say, jaw to jaw is better than war to war. We must also bear in mind that if we are applying the ECOA strategy, it should be applicable to all. Hon Awaji, Inombek, Dagomia, Abiante. Urge ECOWAS to pay keen attention and treat the root causes of coup in ECOWAS countries. Simple. This is the first effect. Why are people going into coup? If you have a working system, the president is doing the will of the people, nobody is going to think about having a coup. But the France and their criminality will come into the African soil and steal from them. And when you complain, they tell you to shut up. It's no longer going to work like that. Africans are rising. It's either you take down every African from, from African soil. That is only when Africans will stop talking. But remember, you have them in your military. In France, we have black people in their military. We have them in their police. We have them in their system. So the moment you start taking down Africans, those ones will rise. How many are you going to kill? It's not like before. People are already rising to their feet. Thanks for supporting the future news. Peace.